¿Cómo están todos? How are it? How's everybody? So I did get my CRI Genetics box already. I'm just very excited to do this. And I'm also very excited to do this alongside with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I have the box here with me. So it says, do, do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 60 minutes prior to swabbing. And then you do have, it's a little weird. Okay, so you do have your biohazard little baggie and this is where you're gonna be placing your vials. So it comes with two vials, it come with the two cotton swabs. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, so this, is, yeah, so this part is where you're gonna be like, um, swabbing the inside of one cheek for 60 seconds. So basically one minute each cheek. So I did just register my kit online. Once you do, it just asks for your kit number, um, your basic info, first, last name, a username, email address, password, all of that. And once you do, it takes you to your dashboard and it sort of shows you like a timeline. So step one, we're registered. I guess the next step would be for them to receive the kit at the lab. It is complete. They send you your DNA results here. I'm basically just going to be following all the steps here that they give you in the kit. Like I said earlier, step one, you have to register your kit, which I already did online. <sighs> okay, remove a swab from its packaging and open one collection vial. Open one. We're going to open one of these vials and we're also going to open one of the swabs. Okay, and I'm just, I have it open. I'm just going to put the top, the cap over it. I don't want like, you know, any bacteria, anything to fall inside of it. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay, so 60 seconds. Okay. So there's my 60 seconds and then we're going to place the tip inside. Okay, and then we're just gonna press down on this until it's all the way in. Then once that, we're just gonna tap, cap this, kissing <laughs> tap. The swab was okay. The swab is inside. I don't know if it's focusing. Part that you know was I was swabbing my cheek with. So once you have that in there, make sure you have the cap on nice and tight. I think it's gonna hurt my cheek. Okay, so now I'm just going to throw this away. Peek. Okay, so same thing, same. You're going to open your vial. Okay. So it's been one minute. Okay, so put this in there. It's in there. So afterwards, it says step six, very important. They even like highlight it, bold print and everything. Place the sealed vials into the DNA collection bag. Okay, so vials go in there. Okay, so there they are. Make sure you close the little baggie really good. Okay, then place the sample bag in the prepaid box. Okay, so I'm gonna place that in there. The box with the tape on the inside of the uh, box flap. So basically the tape is up here, so then we just have to, like you can easily just peel this off, comes right off. So close it, make sure these flaps at the end go inside the space. Then you want to make sure you have everything tight, everything's nice and closed, and then you're just going to close it. Um, they do have the USPS, first class mail, postage in the back, everything's paid for, so you just basically have to send this over. Um, and then step eight, last step, drop the sample box in your local mailbox, and that's it. So it was very simple, you know, eight steps, plus like the whole registering online and everything. So I'm going to go drop this off, and then... I'll see you guys in eight weeks. So it has been five to eight weeks. I did get my results around, I'd say like the fourth week. So it was pretty quick. And um, these are my results. So basically there's 
if you click here ancestry you have a recent analysis advanced analysis and advanced timeline recent analysis dates back uh your most recent five generations advanced analysis goes over a thousand years so uh you have there's more variety in your results and then advanced timeline just shows you what part of your dna you matched with these ancestors um, from these geographic locations so i think that's pretty cool to go to my recent analysis just click there here we have a map so they do pinpoint where exactly in the world you share your dna with and we have here 48.2 percent mexican I was 18.5% Peruvian, 7.2% Colombian, 12.5% Germany, 9.4% Italy, then 1.5% Spain, 1.5% British Isles, and then 1.2% Southern Central Slavic. So once you click on each of these sections, they do give you uh some more historical information they do tell you in my case it says 48.2 percent mexican i was having this conversation with my father and basically it doesn't really help to, to say where like what ethnicity i guess mexican is more of a geographical location as are all these other places but i mean mexican if you're mexican you are like a mix of different ethnicities you can be mixed with african asian um you know german obviously spaniard um, i do know they do give you possible related countries like spain guatemala panama and then the civilizations that were in mexico mayans zapotecs Olmecs, aztecs for sure, I do know I have Zapotec blood. My mom is Zapotec. Uh, my grandparents, my ancestors are Zapotec. They spoke, you know, the Zapotec language. So, uh, not sure how much of this 48.2% I am Zapotec and what the other percentage is. Um, you know, mixture of different things. What I'm guessing at what they're trying to say is instead of mexican might be indigenous since i do have these like you know italian germany um british isles spain in my results i'm guessing instead of mexican maybe they should have put indigenous the same with peruvian if you're from peru again um spaniards went over there could be a mixture of things we have the incan empire from that time from that place so 18.5 percent they put undefined not sure why 7.2 colombian germany 12.5 percent so it says add a mixed american so from mexican peruvian colombian i'm just guessing the 73.9 percent of my dna is indigenous not sure if it's all sapotec or not and then 26.1 percent is european which includes all of this right here. And again, this dates back your last five generations. Now, if you want more of a detailed analysis, you would have to click on advanced analysis. And then they do tell you here, this dates back like thousands of years, well beyond five generations. Um, so this is more detailed. So if you're looking for that, this will be perfect for you. Again, just means I, most of my DNA is shared with uh, Peruvian. So 96.1% have indigenous blood. They'll say Puerto Rican, don't know where that came from. East Asian, 1.5% includes all of this here. Has some Japanese, some Chinese, Vietnamese. 1.4% European overall. And then African, 0.5%. And then South Asian, 0.5%. So this is a bit more detail. Again, if you click on each one of these, 
they do give you a description. They pinpoint where in the map and they give you a description here as well. And as I mentioned, you do have the advanced timeline. I think it really depends on the kit you, you buy. I'm not quite sure, actually. So this just tells you here what chromosome you share with these ancestors. For example, if I scroll all the way down, the first one, Menden Sierra Leone. So segment one, they tell you what chromosome, what matched, what segment, the accuracy. So Northern European, Peruvian, Southern Han Chinese. So I think that's pretty cool. And then they also give you like the traits. For example, traits we have here, mathematical ability, facial recognition. So they, they do share all of this with, with you as well. So I think that's pretty cool. And overall, um, I'm happy with my results I like obviously I knew Mexican <laughs> yeah that's funny but what do you guys think are you guys going to do your DNA test crigenetics.com possibly or from ancestry.com 23andme I'm thinking of getting a kit maybe from ancestry.com and then just comparing my results from that to the results from CRI genetics I do know Ancestry.com has a bigger, you know, database, so they have more to go off of. So it'd be cool to compare these two. So I might do that next. Um, so thinking about it, but um, have you guys tried? Have you guys done a DNA kit before? If so, were you surprised by your results? Sort of surprised, Germany part, Italian, this part, sort of surprised, but I can see it. So... No, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys, you know, Sianiman, you guys are encouraged to try out either CRI Genetics or 23andMe, Ancestry.com or whatever other place you guys can find to get, you know, a DNA test done. I think it's pretty cool and interesting if you're into this type of thing, you know, trying to find out more about yourself. Yeah, so thank you for watching. <laughs>